Hi, I'm Rodney, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to find short solutions to take you from half turn reduction to a state that's one insertion away from being fully solved using the ideas behind floppy reduction. If you're not familiar with floppy reduction, check the video linked in the description. If you are familiar, you know that floppy reductions can be kind of long, uh, and although they might be optimal for getting from HDR to solved, they're often not optimal for the DR because it might be more efficient to solve not all the edges um, and then go back and find insertions in the DR portion. So what we're going to do instead is start at HTR and solve everything but one insertions worth of edges. Uh, and that means either 2E, 3E, or 2E, 2E. Uh, and the strategy is pretty simple. You just get the cube into floppy reduction but ignore either the M slice or the S slice. Then you finish the solution leaving just those few edges unsolved. Usually they'll be in the same slice and that's a double slice reduction. We'll start with some easy examples. So in this scramble, the corners are already in floppy reduction. There's only three cases. It's either in floppy reduction, it needs a U2, or needs an F2 and U2, or R2 U2. So uh, this case, the corners are already in floppy reduction, and one of the slices is in floppy reduction. So I can just start solving. I'm going to make sure I solve the slices on this edge along with the corners. So that's going to be L, F, and then B, R, B and I'm to um, 3E in 5. Uh, this scramble, I have the corners there a U2 move away from, from floppy. Uh, that's blue-red, blue-red, so I need a U2. And now look at my, um, my edges. This uh, S slice is in floppy reduction, but it's going to go out of floppy reduction with a U2. But I have this M slice is um, uh, just will be in floppy reduction after U2. So I just do U2, and then I, uh, and then I solve here, and that's going to be uh, B2, um, and then uh, RBR, and I'm at 3E. Here's some scrambles where the corners aren't immediately in floppy reduction. Here I have green, red, green, red. So I need to split these up with an F2, U2. If I look at my slices, um, these will be brought into floppy reduction after F2, U2. So uh, I can do that. F2, U2, and now I want to solve the corners and this slice. That's going to be an F2, L, F, R, F to 3E. Um, and in this scramble, I have green, orange, green, orange, so I need a R2 to split them up. And the M slice will be solved with R2, D2, so that's R2, D2, and then B, R, B. Uh, and here I've gotten to 2E, so I've gotten an odd parity. So this would have been a case where the floppy reduction solution would have been uh, much longer if I tried to fix parity, but if I ignore parity, then I get a short solution. So this was uh, uh, only five moves to 2E, uh, and then that 2E can be solved um, with an insertion uh, potentially cheaply. Here's a couple of trickier scrambles that still end up with the same length solution. In this case, my corners are, there's, there's my red-blue, there's my other red-blue, so I need a U2 to fix them, but my M slice will go out of floppy reduction, and my S slice will also be out of floppy reduction. So the way to fix that in this case, uh, <coughs> if, this, if this edge were up here, then um, a U2 would bring them into floppy reduction. So the way I want to fix that is with a corner swap. So that doesn't change the corner sick case. So that's F L F U, and now I've got now I've got a, um, S slice and corners in floppy reduction, and then it's just an R to three E. And then this is a case where again I now I need an R two. So here's my blue red, my blue red. So I need an R R two U two to get corners into floppy. Um, but if I do but now my, my, uh, there's nothing I can do to get my M slice into floppy with an R2, U2, but I could, um, I could get these if this were up here because an R2 brings it, um, uh, brings it out of place, but so I have to fix that with a corner swap. So my solution here is going to be R2 and then B2, R2, B2, and then D2, um, and then uh, L2, B2, uh, to solve the corners and that slice, and that gets me to 3E. These last two scrambles are the trickiest. 
So in this case, uh, my corners are in floppy reduction. I've got, and here are my uh, bad edges, uh, both on the M slice and the S slice. If I, uh, if I do a U2, then I still have four bad, uh, and then I have eight bad, so it's gonna take actually a lot to try to get one of these slices into floppy reduction, but I actually only have four bad, and my corners are already in floppy reduction. So what I should do instead is solve the cues except for these four. Um, and that's not too hard to do. Uh, like that's a R2, L2, F2, R2, L2. And now I'm at 2E, 2E, where the, my 2E, 2E are not um, on the same slice. I have these two and these two, but that's still a potential insertion that I could find. It's not double slice, but it is 2E, 2E. And then this second scramble is a case where um, I, uh, here, okay, here are, here are my corners. So to solve my corners, I need to do F2, um, F2, uh, U2. Um, and it, but if I just do F2, then both my S slice and M slice are uh, not gonna get into floppy. So I, but I can make a corner swap insertion. I'm just trying to preserve this block so I can do F2 or B2. So I can do um, R2, uh, B2 instead, and now when I do this, um, B2, uh, my S slice will be in floppy reduction. But now uh, here I've got 2E, 3E. So this is not uh, this is not a single insertion. I could do one, two, three, four, five, six to get it to 2E, but that's a lot of moves. I have a better option here actually. Um, um, what I can do instead, uh, if I'm looking for other ways to do this, let me just try to start with a U2. So, of course, your U2 is going to be free because uh, you're going to enter um, floppy reduction, or you're going to enter HTR with a U move. So, if I do a if I do a U move, then I can do the same thing, where uh, I want to do an F or B move, but I want to preserve this block. So, I'm going to do an F2 move to split up my corners, and I'm going to do the corner swap here. Um, there's L2, F2, U2, and then R2. So, uh, and now I'm again at 2E, 2E, where uh, it's not double slice, but it is 2E, 2E on the two different slices. So I guess I need to call this pseudo floppy reduction, but I really think it's the best way to make use of floppy reduction. Uh, it leads to shorter solutions. It's a lot faster to check. Uh, and the fact that you're leaving room for an insertion uh, means that you don't have to check as many HDR variants. So have fun with it.